Let's get to it, NFL Blitz! Hi. Hi. Welcome to the NFL. With news and notes from around the league, this is NFL Blitz on Dukes and Bell. No, say it ain't so. I don't want you to franchise tag Deron Payne. But they would be idiots if they didn't. 2018 first-round draft pick from Alabama. Mike, he is a baller. You want to improve our D-line? Let's go find a way to sign this guy. We're going to have some money. And by the way, mm. I know right now the cap number looks like 56, 58, whatever. Marcus Mariota's not going to be here. That number's going to go up to about 70 million. We're going to have plenty of money. The Bears will have more money than us, but we will have plenty of money to do things with. And Mike, one of the things we had talked about doing is, can we go get Deron Payne? Yeah, that was one that Squid, I'll give Squid credit. He had this one kind of nailed before like Thanksgiving. That'd be a guy that would look great in our Falcons uniform. So can we have him? Well, no, you, you might have to. <laughs> well, listen, franchise tag only means, again, longer negotiating period. Now, there's the exclusive franchise tag, which means only the Washington football, the commanders can talk to him. There are different degrees of the tag where you can actually still go out and shop your services. But in this case, just like what you're going to see the Ravens do with Lamar, there's going to be exclusive negotiating with the team. But if you don't come to a deal and you know you're not going to come to a deal, you then have the option to do what? Trade them, Mike. And so right. now you're talking about potentially, what are you giving up, Bo? What are you giving up, Turtle? We're giving up two two picks to get Jerron Payne? I mean, all these things that we talk about, we don't want to give up draft capital, but if a guy, you put him alongside Grady Jarrett, our D-line is completely different. I'd give you eight for him right now. The Be eighth overall pick? Yeah, because that's what I want with the eighth overall pick is to, to fix this interior of either the defensive or the offensive line. So I'll give you eight right now because I know this guy can play. Yeah. Mm. Proven. Versus unproven. Right. And that's and that's the, the same thing was that with the free agents. We have had, and a lot of guys have heard us up and said, well, Falcons have had a really bad free agent history. It's a new set of eyes, guys. Yes. And you could argue we've made some really bad free agent hires. Alex Mack is on one of the spectrum, one of the greatest free agent hires in the franchise history. Well, Mike, they listened to us. <laughs> we did. By the way, we're the first guys on that. You can go back and listen, October 15th. Um, but they also did got, uh, went and got Ray Edwards. And that was a mess. Uh, Arthur Early in his ownership um, put the full court press on a, a peerless price. It was past his prime. So we've had some 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 real stinkers out there. Uh, Squid, who was the former linebacker from the Ravens we brought in that played special teams? We've had a bunch of dudes that just kind of did not live up to the money. So we'll see where this one goes. But there is a lot of money to be spent, and we have a lot of needs, and there's a lot of guys, if not Jerron Payne, that fit the bill, certainly for DT. Blitz is brought to you by our friends at Priority. Ed Hartwell, sorry, Ed Hartwell was the guy we signed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. but they took me a minute to think about it. Sorry about just these things float around in my noggin like a, you know, like a boule base.